Hey folks, we are getting ready to go to one of my local lakes today, but unfortunately we've just experienced a really bad cold front that came through the day before yesterday. So we're on that second day of post frontal conditions, which are usually the worst. Fortunately, I have a remedy for that. It is horizontally drop shotting. So forgive my workspace here, a little bit cluttered right now. You want to fish, you want to fish. I haven't got time to clean. So many people are familiar with the drop shot for bass fishing. It involves a hook, small bait, and a pencil weight or round, round weight down on the bottom that's used to keep the bait close to the bottom. For bluegill, it's no different whatsoever. I will actually start off, I tie two hooks when I do this. My main hook, I'll run it up. About three foot, I'll do a little wind around, up and about, pull the hook through, then you'll either spin on the line or wet the line one way or another. This way you get a good pull. And then you gotta go through the top again. What this will do is set the line or the hook vertical to up your chances of getting a hook set, like so. I will do the exact same thing with the bottom hook, leaving about a foot long tag, and I'll show you why in just a second. Now the reason you want to use this rig, this is not my favorite rig by the way. It's just one that I'm very successful with whenever I need to use it. But this is for post frontal bluegill. If I had it my way, I'd be throwing a bobber and a little 1 or 1 ounce jig head. That's my favorite way to fish. But this keeps the bait close to the bottom, one of the baits. And you're able to fish it really fast and pull it by fish that may not be aggressive or you may you will find a few that are aggressive that's really the best part about this rig is you can throw it through a school and just pick off the ones that are aggressive the last piece to this is the weight the reason i have at least a foot long tag is sometimes the fish want the bait up off the bottom you just pull it up like that and you're going to be ready to fish either vertically or horizontally but if the fish want it right next to the bottom of the bait, all you have to do, lower this down. Well, let's say my eyes are not as good as they once were. Slide it down. And now you got a bait that's going to fish right along the bottom, along with your top one. Part two are the bluegill bugs. These Phyllis bluegill bugs. One of my favorite that's always consistent is black and blue. And our brand new color that I was asked to make is this yellow and black. I'm gonna take one out with me today and see if it does any good. It's a pretty neat looking little color, maybe like a bumblebee. So since these are not your normal jig heads, I will just take it and thread it and bring it out the tail. Now one other quick tip that you will really appreciate after a cold front is if, any, if you're familiar with a drop shot, another way to rig it is you just go barely into the head and out and therefore it sits like that. The reason for that is my grandpa will attest to this. He would get fighting mad whenever a bluegill would come up and hit his cricket. He would take the head and nothing else. And he would be fighting mad because he said, well, the cricket's no good no more. So these fish do bite from the head. So you will have the hook point sitting right there, ready to go as soon as the fish bites. So if you stay tuned, I'm going to drive up to the lake. And I'm going to show you how this rig works.
Well, first bite is on the yellow and black, so that's a good sign for it. Males are awful skinny. This is post-spawn for them, for most of them. But still, it's the first one on the yellow and black. Oh, we got us a large mouth. On the yellow. Not a big one, but still. Yellow and black. It's caught all three of them so far. There we go. <laughs> Yellow and black again, folks. This may become my new favorite color. I don't know. <laughs> there was a, the reason I started doing this, there was a guy at one of my shops who said that Wendell, the gentleman who used to make this, these bugs, would use a yellow and black. I'd never seen it before, so I decided I was going to start making it. And now I'm pretty happy that I did. These will probably go on sale at the website here pretty quick we hand make every single one of these bugs so if i'm going to start putting them on the market i gotta get started on them now and hopefully by the time this video comes out there will be some yellow and black on the website if you go to the gasfishingstore.com website and you look under the phyllis bluegill bugs that's where you'll find them. I don't know if I'll have the picture up anytime soon or not, but we caught four or five fish and all four or five have decided they wanted that yellow. And like I said, I goofed up and only brought one with me, not thinking about it. Got one on the black and blue. Little bitty. Yellow and black, man. He just swallowed that thing. Well, folks, yellow and black is definitely going to be on the website no matter what now this is just too convincing for me this is a good color hats off to the gentleman who suggested this i don't even know his name these are not big bluegill by the way what we plan on doing now that i fish this dam where all these little post spawn males and females are is we're gonna go try some docks and stuff see if we can catch a red ear or maybe a few bigger bluegill there may be still a few bluegill spawning so we'll check in just a minute i'll be right back with y'all
yellow and black. No surprise. Oh, head back to back. You come off. There it is again. Oh. <laughs> bit of a hot spot there. Now all I'm doing in here is actually really simple. I'm just gonna cast and start lifting up on the rod as I'm getting bit. You'll feel the fish biting, thump, 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 thump. But then once in a while, you'll pick up and he'll be on there running. But when he is, that's when you just reel into him. You're going to end up with a fish. Oh, nice one. Well, folks, there went my yellow bug. Finally, I caught at least a dozen fish on that bug. At least a dozen. I'll probably post most of them on the video. But just to show you how much value you get out of these bluegill bugs, it's incredible. Those fish are just up ahead of me. Right in there. There he is. It's a pretty good one there. Yeah, a few bluegill. Right. A lot of little ones. That's about all there are. Putting them right back. Oh, yeah. out here in the middle you never know There's a crappie. He released himself. We appreciate that. Well, folks, that's going to wrap it up for me. I've been out here a couple hours. I think I've ended up catching anywhere between, I don't know, 20, 25 fish probably. No real size, but we weren't expecting that on this little lake. But we did get the action we was hoping for. When I'm looking back, I know that we actually only went through two bluegill bugs. That's all we ended up going through, through all those fish. We ended up using that yellow and black one, which I am going to go home and start making immediately. Because I have a feeling folks are going to want those. And then we had the grape and black, which only caught one little bass. So I've got some work to do to get those done. Things to remember with the drop shot fish this thing fast unless you're in the winter time then you're going to be vertically jigging this or in the summertime fish it fast throw it out and bring it to you once you find a school of fish it will be unmistakable and then you can fish over the top of them if the water's deep enough 
In Florida, this is a real common practice because of the clear deep lakes. There's a fish. In uh, Wisconsin, of course, they're clear and deep. Going back to Florida, it's mostly because of the grass lines. You have to fish drop shot style, but you can fish this rig anywhere. Doesn't matter where. I promise if you use this technique, you will put a lot of fish in the boat, even on these hot days when the bluegill beds are done or pretty well done, you can still catch a lot of fish. I will link everything down below in the description including these hooks and the drop shot weights. The drop shot weights and the hooks cost me $4, five, I'm sorry, $5.64. So you are not gonna break the bank on these. Matter of fact, I went through two drop shot weights just cause they got hung up in the rocks, but I never lost a single hook and I only lost two bugs. So I got my money's worth for sure. Caught all these fish for just a few bucks. Guys, till the next one, we'll see you later.